Good morning people, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to another vlog of Dirty Whips. Yeah, it's another day that we're gonna be working on my E46. So today's the day that we're gonna be painting my wheels black. Let's go. In case you guys haven't seen my E46, this is my project car. I bought it to drift, never went drifting so far. I'm still working on it, making it look good and pretty, but never took this thing to swing. Yeah, once or twice, but never, nothing too crazy. But yeah, so these are my wheels. <laughs> Uh, when I bought the car, they were like gold and trashy, and yeah, as you can tell, they're like pretty trashy still. So, yeah, this was my uh, plastic dip coming off. So yeah, these are plastic dip right now. They actually look pretty good right now too, but uh, as you can tell on the back wheels, it's probably not the best job that's been done to it. You can't really tell on this one. Let me show you a little one real quick. Yep, it's not the best job that's been done on the wheels. So what I'm gonna do today is that take these wheels off all four of them and Try to paint them. All right So the first thing first before you guys do anything on your wheels or before you even start painting them Make sure you check your car up and take your wheels off You don't want to paint them while being on the car because if you paint them while having your wheels on the car You're gonna mess shit up and then yeah, there's gonna be a lot more problems than you think Finally got the car checked up. I think in my opinion the checking up the car takes longer than doing the whole part because since you have a lower car and even with the lower jack this still won't go under the car. Yeah, that's a hassle. Alright, so now you just gotta make sure you loosen up your bolts before you even jack up the car. That I didn't, so I kinda had to check up, then drop it down, jack it, and all the bullshit. Alright guys, after you got the car all jacked up and wheels off. Make sure you grab this paper, it's called a uh, 3M uh, sandpaper. Make sure you get this and then start sanding down the wheels. If you really want the paint to be sticking on your wheels, if not then just fucking clean them up with water or whatever you have, soap or whatever and then start throwing paint on it. But yeah, if you really want the uh, paint to be sticking on your wheels then you might have to sand them down. And I bought four bottles, that's my old exhaust, don't mind it. That's my four bottles that I bought, black, glossy, whatever. I bought them from Home Depot, you go to AutoZone, whatever. They're like, I'd say $7 a fucking piece. $7 a piece, so that's not bad. But yeah, let's start sending them down and clean them up. I'm going to do the first two and show you guys everything about first two. I'm not going to show you the all four. Same process, but yeah. Uh, so let's send them down, clean them up with water and everything. Make sure you have a hose of water, soap, whatever. And then clean them up and then... You're supposed to throw a primer on it before you even throw the paint on it. I'm not going to do that. If you guys feel like you want to do that, go for it. I'm not going to do it, but yeah, I'm just watch me sending them down. After a few hours, <clears throat> so this is where I got so far. This is just sanding it down already. My color of the tire is like red. Then we got blue. I'm not sure if that white or that's just silver. And it's kind of hard to tell. 
But yeah, that's what I found out. My the rims are actually not black. They're blue, red, and white or silver, whatever the fuck that color is. But yeah, uh, let's sand them down and paint them. And then let's see where we go from there. So I'm going to still sand them down a little bit more. See if I can clean them up a bit more. Then I'm going to wash them with the soap and stuff. Then I'm going to start painting. gonna clean it with the soap make sure you're using the soap without any wax or anything in it and then just grab your shit and start cleaning up this is just to get the dirt off and stuff I mean I still think I have a plastic dip on there that's not coming off for some reason but I'm not too worried about it so what I'm gonna do is just clean it up with this and let them dry off and then yeah see it's gotten pretty clean just with the water, regular water, but yeah, let's clean it up and then start painting after it dry out. There you guys, got them all washed up and this is the cleanest I could have come up with and uh, yes, I think they're already pretty clean from what they were, but yeah, so now I'm going to just let them dry and then come back like in an hour or two. So while I was working on my car, look what just came in. More car parts from A46. So this is actually my radiator. Yeah, my car is leaking a lot of coolant. <laughs> so we're gonna be releasing this soon. But yeah, let's go check on the wheels if they're right yet. Alright guys, so this one is still wet and uh I'm gonna just let it dry. I got the other one right here, and I don't really record putting all the tape on it and paper. So I got it all covered up nice and easy and then like now the tire is not going to get any paint on it and I got this sheet under it so the paint won't go on my floor. So yeah what I'm going to do is now grab the paint and then start painting just like I do it on plastic dip. And uh, <laughs> since it's a little cold here I decided to put a paint in my hot water like boiled water so like go out pretty nice it'll spray pretty nice and easy but yeah let's go get this shit done. I'm not going to show you guys how to do paint just watch me do it and just follow the steps and let's get this rim blacked out all right guys let's do the first coating you guys might want to wear a mask before you do this because this is gonna go to your lungs and that's not pretty but yeah i'm gonna come back in like in 15 minutes do the second coating I guess so I can't feel my <coughs> throat because like I'm going sore I'm probably going inside to get a mask but yeah the wheels actually looking good and I bought the gloss black so you could already tell that it's pretty shiny and the wheel was pretty fucked up it looks pretty nice so I'm gonna get the third fourth coating whatever I need then I'm gonna just show you the final now and uh, throw this one and the other one on the car and then see from there how, how does it look then I'm gonna do the ones in the rear but I'm not gonna record all that so yeah let's get the all coating done and uh, put this thing on the car and then show you how does it look
Yes. So it actually didn't take that long for it to dry. It's already dry. I was like on 30-40 minutes. This wheel's done already, and it actually looks pretty damn good. Yeah, but I might have sanded down a little bit hard. So you might want to keep in mind what sandpaper you guys get. But yeah, that wheel's done. Other ones are already drying. So I'm gonna put this back on the car. So just like that, we're done with the car. I never did the rear wheels because it took me all day to just do the front too. So, yep. But yeah, the car looks actually pretty good and then you could tell the wheels are looking nice. They still need to drive a little bit more once you put, a, put your hand on it, they are sticking on it. All right, and that's it for today's video. See you guys in the next vlog. These wheels are actually on sale with tires. If anybody is interested, hit me up, DM me, comment down below, whatever you guys want. You guys got my Instagram up to, uh, in the description. I'll trade or sell these on a good price. Let me know if you want to trade or want to buy these. Whatever. Peace out. Make sure to subscribe.